Hi everyone, my name is Tori, this is Another Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a romance recommendations video to share with you, and I am giving you romance recommendations for brother's best friend or best friend's brother. One of my favorite things to read, and I'm excited to do this video, this video is also in collab with Sam from Sam Reads a Little. We're both gonna be giving you these romance recommendations, so I'll have her video linked in the description box below. If you don't follow her already, go follow her and make sure you check out her video and get some more of these brother's best friend, best friend's brother romance recommendations. Now we decided to put them together because like it's pretty much the same thing. It's this forbidden, it's this I don't want to get caught, I don't want to tell my best friend or I don't want to tell my brother that I'm into their best friend or their best friend's brother. So I'm really excited to talk about the eight books that I have to share with you. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first one I have is A False Start by Elsie Silver. So this is the fourth book in her Gold Rush Ranch series. And I recently read this towards the end of 2022 and I loved it. I read A Photo Finish and A False Start from this series and I really, really loved both of them. This one, she is the sister of Griffin's best friend. So Griffin and her have this very forbidden, I mean, it's one of those things where her brother's not really all around too much, if that makes sense, but he is there and like present. I really loved Griffin. He has this stutter that he tries to hide because when he was younger, he was kind of like made fun of that. The author, Elsie Silver, she does give um, a warning at the beginning. Um, it has alcoholism, domestic slash child abuse and sexual harassment. Um, so she, I think she does a pretty good job talking about those sensitive topics too. And if I'm remembering this book correctly, Nadia, who's our female character, she actually works, I think at the vet's office and Griff is actually, Griffin is there quite a bit. Um, so I was really, really enjoying this book. I love the pink. I think that it's great. Also, Griffin, I think he works at the ranch. He does something with the ranch, if I'm remembering, if I'm remembering correctly, but I did like this one. Elsie Silver knows how to write some steam as well, so if you're looking for super steamy things, this is also an age gap. He's 14 years older than her. So if that's your thing, definitely check out this book. I really love this one. The next book I have is Fair Catch by Candy Steiner, and this is book one in her... I always forget series names. Like I need authors to start putting them at the beginning. Um, I don't remember the series, but this is the first book. And while this is my least favorite in this series, I still think it's a pretty solid read. This one um, I found really interesting because it's our female character who's actually the kicker for the football team, for the college football team. And she starts to have a thing for Zeke who is like playing on the team, but Zeke is also her brother's best friend. Because they grew up together, he has this thing in his head, like he's like, I need to protect, I need to make sure she's okay. Now, she's under the impression that something happened with her brother and Zeke and his best friend when they were younger and he was left injured, I will say. I don't wanna give like too much away, but there's this whole dynamic that I'm waiting for her brother to actually have a book. Like I want his book so badly, I cannot wait. I don't know if Candy Steiner is gonna write that, but I cannot wait. But I did like their story. I like the whole forced proximity of them working on a team, which is also forbidden. Like there shouldn't be dating. I also like that she is a super strong female character. She's a kicker. For, she's the only woman on the football team and I really enjoyed that so if you haven't read this series yet definitely check these out all the books in the series is pretty good and this one's just a forbidden just a little bit so the next book I have is Where Good Girls Go to Die by Holly Renee and to be 100% honest I don't hear enough people talk about this book I feel like this is a great brother's best friend so our female character and our main male character they've had a past so this is kind of like a second chance as well they had like a moment when she was a little bit younger he breaks her heart and she like leaves town right no one knows where she goes she goes to like a different city and she starts working in a strip club and her brother and best friend and his best friend come into that strip club see her and he she sees the best friend first like her brother's best friend first and she's like all over him and he realizes who she is and he flips out he's like what the fuck are you doing now the whole reason why they're there is for his bachelor party he's actually engaged to someone else so that was my one thing with this book there is that cheating aspect where it's like um kind of like more emotional cheating and then it leads to some physical cheating so if cheating is not your thing don't go into this one I want to throw that out there because he's having the second chance with her but also he has his fiance that he's like not really into anymore so it's a really fun dynamic the beginning of this book is one like I was 
Well, I was like laughing out loud when I realized that. Now it does take a little bit more of like an emotional turn after that, but it starts off with a bang and it kept my attention. So I kept reading and I really love this one because of that second chance aspect. It's like they had like a moment when they were younger, he broke her heart reasons you read you find out and then years later they're trying this again and I think at one point she is staying with him so there's that forced proximity aspect as well which I really enjoyed it was really good and I enjoyed this one I feel like Holly Renee is an author that I want to read more from because I'm I really like her I like her fantasy romance I like this series so I want to read more from her so if you have any recommendations for Holly Renee let me know message me on Instagram, please. The next one I have is Could Have Been Us by Corinne Michaels. Um, this one is actually really, really interesting. They have a lot of things going on with this book and I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, Corinne Michaels is hit or miss for me. Sometimes I love her stuff and sometimes it's just okay and average. I don't think I've ever like hated any of her stuff. Now with this one, it is brother's best friend. So our female character, I think she's like a year or two younger. I think at the time she's 18 and her brother's best friend is 23 he's like in his last year of college or something like that or he's about to start grad school um and they finally like have a moment where they're together and i don't think this is a spoiler but it ends up that she becomes pregnant and he's all like i don't have money i know i don't have money i know your family's gonna feel a certain type of way but i can take care of you and they actually decide to give the daughter up for adoption so they have this second chance years later where he comes back to the town. He leaves after that. He comes back and they grow together, but also they try and incorpor incorporate their adopted daughter or the, the daughter that they gave up for adoption, which is actually something I've never read before. I, because I've never read it before, I don't have anything to compare it to. So I say be wary of that, but I'm really interested to see what other people think about this book because it has a really cool family dynamic at the center of it, as well as this romance wrapped around it. It's not just about them being together. It's about them being together, moving forward and trying to incorporate their daughter that they could not literally take care of at the time. And I thought it was actually really interesting. And she's in her teens. So I think like she's 11 maybe a little bit older than 11 but she's like old enough to understand what's going on and I think they've always had like an open adoption so the adoptive parents sent her the mother her female character in this book pictures and stuff which I actually really enjoyed so it's a different type of a book I think Corinne Michaels did a really good job with it it's extremely emotional I felt for both of the characters like no matter what happened in their past like you really see the reasons why they made those certain decisions and I really enjoyed it the next book I have is to love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays I actually picked up this book because of Sam so I don't know if she'll have this on her list or not, but I really enjoyed it. This is a brother, another brother's best friend. And this one's a little bit interesting because I feel like it's still brother's best friend. He is a famous, I think he's a famous celebrity now and she is a writer. One of her books is being picked up for a movie. And when it's picked up, the main actor is her brother's best friend. So I found that an interesting dynamic. Um, it, it is a pretty long book and it lost me a little bit in the middle, but I would still recommend it because I listened to the audiobook and the banter was really funny. It was a borderline rom-com me. I don't love rom-coms, but it was like just enough to like make me laugh. And I think it tied in the story really well. And I love this whole thing where they're trying not to tell her brother anything, but they also like dislike, she dislikes him for reasons. And there's this whole like, you know back and forth between them all at the same time that they're working together on this movie and she's being you know as the writer of the book she wants to be involved in the process and I actually really enjoyed it so I want to I want to read more by Ella Mays. I know the second book in the series which I thought I was reading the second book but it was this one I had to love Jason Thorne to love some, I forgot the name of it, but he's a single dad, I think. So that's the one I want to read next, but I would highly recommend this one for a brother's best friend. The next one I have is June 1st by Jennifer Hartman. This is also a brother's best friend. And I will say, I'm going to be 100% honest, this book is not going to be for everyone. But, but if you stick with it, I think you can see the beauty in what Jennifer Hartman did. So this one is very emotional. Of If you know Jennifer Hartman's writing, it is extremely emotional. She loves to gut punch you with her romances. At the same time, you get an H-E at the end. Now this one, like I said, it's not going to be for everyone because at the beginning of the book, our main male character, he is, I think, six or eight at the time. And you see he goes through tragedies in his life. And that's literally how the book is broken up and I'm really just going to talk about the beginning of the book because 
if I talk about anything more than that, it's going to be spoilers. So you see June 1st, something happens to him and his family, but at the same time, his best friend, um, his best friend's parents are having a daughter and her name is June and she is born on June 1st. And I just, it's, it's, a, it's a journey. Like this is Jennifer Hartman's longest book so far. It's a journey that these characters go on. I found the journey beautiful, not only with our female character, but also with our main male character. And that's pretty much why I love Jennifer Hartman's writing is you get a story for both of the characters. It's not like one outweighing the other, which with some romances that happens and that's totally fine. I totally understand that. But for me, I loved the balance. I loved the emotions that they all kind of go through. And the whole brother's best friend thing, definitely a big, big part of this. This is one of those books where it's very prevalent and I personally enjoy it. I mean, there's a little bit of age gap because he's like eight years older than her or whatever, but then it skips to where she's in her teen years and then it skips to when they're adults. So it's like broken up into kind of three parts. So as long as you stick with it, I think you would enjoy it. I love this one, Jennifer Hartman loves to write with emotion. So the next one I have is Serenading Heartbreak by Ella Fields. I really enjoyed this one. I read it for a love triangle romance. So that's your thing. Check this one out. If it's not, skip it. Totally fine. But there is a love triangle aspect of this. And this is also Brother's Best Friend. I think I only had, yeah, the first book, A False Start, that's Best Friend's Brother. One of the guys is her brother's best friend and one of them is a baseball player. And I am someone who I get so mad with love triangles if she doesn't pick like who I love. And I will say, I'm not going to say who, but she picks the one that I love. So that's why I love the book. <laughs> that's how I kind of rate love triangles. If she picks the one I love, it's a great book. If she picks the one I don't, it's not that great of a book. <laughs> that's just how it goes. I feel like everyone's like that. But with this one, our female character, her brother's best friend is someone who that was her first love. They had this, you know, whirlwind thing when she was younger. He's a lead singer of a band. He couldn't commit at the time. Then she, I think at this, you know, most, well, like kind of fast forwards, she's in college, I think, or right out of college. And she starts dating this baseball player. And he is everything that her brother's best friend wasn't. Very swoonworthy, very loving, very romantic and stuff like that and could commit. And then her brother's best friend comes back into her life and she's like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like I have feelings for both of them. And I actually really, I don't love like love triangles. I'll tell you right, I do not like love triangles, but I really enjoyed this book. I gave it five stars. It was really, really good. The emotional tur turmoil I felt with these characters really, it got me, it's angsty, it's great. I would highly recommend this one. The last one I have is one that I recently just read in January and that is Until You by Catherine. Amara. And I'm going to be 100% honest. I tried one book by Katharina Amara last year. It's called The Wrong Bride. And I've said this before. Tried her, that book. I didn't even mark it as a DNF because I just was like, I don't know if she's for me. But then my friend Cheyenne was talking more about her. And I said, you know what? Let me just give her another try. This one I loved. I really enjoyed this book. So this has, it blends this kind of like mysterious aspect with a crazy brother's best friend romance. So our female character at the beginning of the book, she is dating guy named Brad. Yes, his name is Brad. And they both work for this technology firm. She is in sales. He is in the engineering side. She basically, you see, she is a hacker. She works with like this other company under an alias called Nix. She is great at like coding and hacking and all that techie stuff that I don't really understand. Well, she um, goes to visit her brother and her brother's best friend comes into town. He lives in California and her and her brother lives in Miami right now. And they've been friends for years since they were younger. They're both, um, her parents had passed away. They were killed in a robbery gone wrong. And then his parents, um, they put him up for adoption. Like, so he never knew who his birth parents were. And one thing that he does is he runs a tech company, a very successful tech tech company in California. And so uh, Brad and her, her and her boyfriend at the time, Brad sit down with him and was like, can you offer me a job? And she, he's like, she has a job. She can come work with me. You have to prove yourself. And something happens. He cheats on her. She winds up breaking up and they both go, her and her brother's best friend, go to California together to start working because her brother's like, just take her away from here. I know you'll look after her. Well, they're starting living, they live together. Like she doesn't have a place in California, but he has a big enough place. So he's like, you could stay with me. And all the while, the person that Nix is talking to under, like he has an alias called Ash. They're actually talking, but also like her, like it's like they're talking under aliases, but also at the same time in real life. And I, you can tell when like it clicks for him and he's like, oh shit, Nyx is 
my best friend's little sister. The angst is really good leading up to it. I will say at the end, it kind of lost me because it's this mysterious aspect. She's trying to help him find who his birth parents are. And it was more about him towards the end of the book and not really balanced, but it was a solid four star read. And I would highly recommend this one because I literally just read it and finished it. And I loved, loved, loved this one. So I'm definitely checking out more of Katherine Amara. Thank you, Cheyenne. But that's all I have for this romance recommendations video. Make sure you check out Sam's romance re recommendations video as well. I'll have it linked in the description box below. For the emoji, leave me the heartbreak emoji like it's broken because like it's forbidden. Leave me the heartbreak emoji, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like and subscribe for more content for me. As always, I hope you're living an awful life and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.